your as in the questions they asked you to do at the end of the lesson yesterday. No problems, right? Okay. Uh, then we look at exercise eighteen point two. I mean, question six. Okay. Uh, we want to evaluate the following uh, integrals, whereby a is a constant. Okay, and then after that, leave your answers in terms of a. So, in solving this integral, what should we do first? Expand. Okay. Special, we'll be getting this. Then after that, my integration, what would I be getting it? What would I be, what would I be getting inside the square brackets? Three. Sorry, x two. X four. X four over four, right? Minus away a square x square over two. Okay. Then we have to substitute in the values. Okay, the upper boundary and the lower boundary. So, when you substitute in the upper boundary, you get zero minus away the one negative one. get a square over 2 minus 1 quarter. Okay, so upon yesterday's questions, I think that most of you uh, would have, uh, or rather some of you might have actually forgotten to put in the brackets, especially when there's a zero over here. Okay, if you actually don't, if you don't write the brackets, then you will affect your operations. Okay, hence you did not get an answer.
so therefore we will be able to get that A is equal to zero. So sometimes it's not just about solving an integral, sometimes you will be required to find out what are the upper boundaries and the lower boundaries.
It's okay, try 12. square root 4x plus 1 from 0 to 2. Okay? What do I need to do to this uh, integral by making use of part 1? So I need to make it into 12x and in order to make sure that they are equivalent, so therefore I need to put a half outside. 12 divided by 2 will be 6. Right? So integrating this, it will actually give you y.
therefore you will get the value 5. Question 11, whereby first we are asked to integrate x from 0 to 2. Then after that, hence find the integral from negative 2 to 2 for the modulus of x. Okay, so up to here, we actually do not know how to integrate a modulus. Okay, but let's just do part 1 first. Okay, we definitely know how to integrate x from 0 to 2. That will give you x squared over 2. And Eventually, you'll find that the value is actually 4. Is it? Right? Hey, no, sorry, 2. Okay, so that would be the value for integrating from 0 to 2. Okay, now how do we go about integrating this modulus then? Anybody has any ideas? <coughs> How should we go about integrating this model? The boundary is The boundary? No, this is my negative 2 to 2. The question gives you the boundary to be from negative 2 to 2. Integrating this will give you 2 or minus 2. Is that really? Okay. Uh, so I have not yet introduced to you the fact that uh, integral will give you the area, right? But briefly I have mentioned to you, okay, that integrating will give you the area under the graph, right? So modulus. So the modulus graph of the graph of modulus x should look something like that. Do you agree? Y equals to x is actually a diagonal line like that. Then after that, because of modulus, it flips up, right? Okay, what is the property of a modulus graph? That, yes, there is symmetry, there is symmetry. Okay, it is symmetrical uh, in the left side and also the right side. And in this case, the line of symmetry is the y-axis, which is x equals to 0. Okay, so we found that from 0 to 2 itself, the area here is actually 2 units. And knowing that it is symmetrical, okay, and we want to find out the, the integral from negative 2 to 2. So negative 2 to 2 will be both of the sides. If we know that this is actually going to be 2 units square, the other side would also be 2 units square, right? So therefore, okay, for part 2, Finding the value of the, in, the definite integral for, modul for modulus x from negative 2 to 2, it will just simply be 2 times 2, 4 units. Uh, 4 units squared, but in this case, you're not looking for area, so the value will just be 4 itself. Yes. No need to draw the graph, okay? But you need to have the same understanding, right? Why got 2 units? Because we know that for definite integral, we're looking at the area under the graph. The graph itself refers to this part here. So from 0 to 2, which is the boundaries, okay, there will be 2 units squared, okay, based on what we have found in part 1. So knowing that a uh, modulus graph is symmetrical, okay, so therefore the other side from 0 to negative 2 will have to be 2 units as well. But since you're looking at integral from negative 2 to 2, okay, 
okay, the graph, the area will actually have to be two times two, right? Mm -hmm. Then we cannot actually do it. Okay, if it's two to negative three at this point, we still cannot uh, cannot go on doing it yet. to be 2 to negative 3 or some other number, okay, that doesn't rely on symmetry, we will cover more about it uh, further in the or oh, I think the next chapter. Okay, let's just look at one last question. If we have the value of B of a piece of equipment after T years, so the value of the equipment
Okay, and then we get the value negative uh, 320,000. Okay, since it is a line that this is actually get depreciation, so therefore the, the negative expresses the loss. So therefore, total loss is equal to 320,000 dollars. Okay, you need to have the final statement. You cannot just find me the value itself because you must answer the question according to its context. Yes. Yeah. 